following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Walter Matthau, Barbara Eaton, Maury Amsterdam, Rosemary, Charlie Weaver, Robert Morgan, Wally Cox, Abby Dalton, and Buddy Hackett, all in the Hollywood Squares. And here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Well, thank you, audience. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the nighttime edition of the Hollywood Squares. And hello, stars, this Friday Eve. How are you hey, all? Hey. <laughs> what a rowdy bunch we have tonight. I Every night, New Year's Eve. Back. Barbara Eden, uh, Buddy Hackett's with us uh, again. Bobby Morris. My pal Walter Matthau, and hey. uh, it should be a fun evening. You tell them, Walter. Our I'm players, first of all, in this circle is uh, Peggy Thurston, who was a first grade school yeah, teacher. Cool. Oh, That's right. right. And you're married to an army sergeant stationed where? Stationed in Fort Hood, Texas. He was drafted. Well, it happens to a lot of us, I'll tell you that. I know. <laughs> yeah. I guess you missed him. Well, you'll get to see him. We were married a long time before he we was drafted. I see. So. Well, kind of I hope you have better luck on our show if you feel so bad oh, about I'm that. Oh, I'm going to win. Oh, good. Well, that's, that's the positive attitude. This gentleman, as our Mr. X, is Bob Whitestone, a struggling young lawyer from Alexandria. Don't struggle too hard. Alexandria, Virginia. Hi there, Bob. How are you? Nice to see you. Welcome to Hollywood Square. I understand you're married, have a little boy? That's right. And good luck to you also, well, Thank you very much. We have a lot of marvelous prizes, a lot of money, and I hope you both sort of split it up. And we will play the first round of Hollywood Squares right after this week. The object for our players. Uh, is to get three stars in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally. It's up to them to figure out if a star is giving you a correct answer. Making one up, that's how they get the squares. Every game is worth $300. In addition, our first two games we play for the secret square, if one of our contestants picks the secret square and is correct, this is the prize they will receive. Kenny? You'll visit Hong Kong and Tokyo in this trip to the Orient via TWA, the all-jet airline. Enjoy fabulous in-flight service, your choice of delicious entrees, cooked in flight, widescreen color movies, eight channels of stereo music. You're up, up, and away, TWA. Sold me. We'll show the home audience the secret square. I understand that Bob Whitestone, Mr. Rex, won the uh, cost of the toy backstage. That means, sir, that you will go first. Pick a star. All right, I'll go with the man from Mount Ida. All right. All right. <laughs> According to legend, when yes. Sir Walter Raleigh's servant first saw him smoking a pipe, what did he do? He saved the coupons first. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he got the pipe. Uh, no, actually... <laughs> actually, what happened, his servant was so upset to see all this smoke that he threw a bucket of water on it. I think Charlie's right. Yeah, he thought he was on fire. Put an X right there. A very good start. Now, oh, that's an interesting story. Okay, thank you. I'll thank go you, with Charles. Abby Dalton. Abby? Abby? A man named John Rock changed the course of American life a few years back. What did he do? Oh, uh, John Rock. That's the man. Uh, he's the man that developed the first color television tube. I'll disagree. John Rock is the inventor of the first birth control pill. <laughs> I was close. <laughs> well, television's a better way, anyway. <laughs> Bob Whitestone. You got to admit it's one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. Oh, boy, this is not easy, I tell you. Go ahead. Mari, Mari Amsterdam. Do we hear bells? No. No, no. <laughs> Pocahontas saved the life of Captain John Smith back in the early days, right? That's right. Uh, nice girl. Did they get girl. married later on? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, a lot of people think so because we have so many Smiths in the world. But the reason for that is I saw a sign the other day on a big building that said Smith Manufacturing Company. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take But it. she didn't marry him because... Uh, her father didn't like the idea. No, anyway, she didn't marry. She married another fellow. She saved his life, but she saved him for somebody else. 
Bob? That's a tough one. I ought to know, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to agree with Mari. Uh, she married a fellow named John Rolfe. Uh, there's no, and you agreed. Put the X right there. Peggy, you. I'll go with Rosemary to the Block. Rosemary the Block could be the secret square, but it is not this Friday Eve. What is the capital city of Oklahoma? That's all, that's all you want to know? That's all I want to know, Ro. Well, uh, Peggy wants to know. Oklahoma City. I'll agree. She's right. Put a circle there. <laughs> <laughs> a little tentative, I'm afraid, Peggy. A little tentative. To the man from Brooklyn, Buddy Hackett. That's me. It's either Barbara, Walter, Wally, or Ralph. Boy, if you ask me a capital, I know every single one in the whole country. Any capital, ask me one of okay. Capital, Rhode Island. Providence. Capital, oh. United States, in Europe. <laughs> Say, uh, folks, that's, that's another game. It. This is Hollywood Square. Excuse I, me. I can continue if I may. <laughs> Buddy, what country has the highest ratio of doctors to population? The country with the most Jews. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I would say Israel. You have a doctor in every family. It's a cousin. Could be an uncle. Could be. <laughs> but every family's got a connection, a doctor, a couple of specialists. <laughs> well, buddy, I, buddy ought to know. I'll agree. You agree with that? It's Israel. He's it right. Is? <laughs> I thought it was Sweden, but I couldn't get any joke with Sweden, so... <laughs> that's, okay. the only, that's the only country in the world with office hours. <laughs> Peggy Thurston. A strategy uh, the time. There's a secret square up there. It is worth a trip to Hong Kong, Tokyo. I think I'll chance the secret square with Robert Morris. No, it's either Barbara, Walter, or Wally. Here's a question on physics. What makes a pendulum swing? Booze and broad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What now, it's swing? either centrifugal force, but uh, I'd say gravity. Is that the same as the rotation of the Earth? I, I say would gravity. Say it's the rotation of the Earth, and I don't know if you say that's the same. I can only accept that you uh, could gravity. Or no, not. then I'll say no. Uh, it's gravity. Oh. I'm oh. sorry. I can only accept uh, a yes or no oh. with gravity. Oh. X gets the square. You can go for the win. Uh, in fact, you'll go for the win anywhere. Uh, there's that secret square. It's either Wally, Walter, or Barbara Eden. Uh, and that I'll... contains that trip. I'll go with Jeannie. Barbara Eden. <laughs> Bob Whitestone, you took a three-to-one shot and paid off. Hey, that's very good. This is for a trip for two to Tokyo and Hong Kong via TWA. Remember, only you can win. If you're wrong, the prize will go over to our next and team. And you can stop in Israel for a checkup. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Barbara, on the secret square, we have a... Uh, we always have a special envelope here, if I can find the right one here. Here we go. Uh, listen carefully. In what opera would you find the aria La Dan Amobile? In El Trovatore, Rigoletto, Don Giovanni. La donna mobile. La donna. Could you repeat the name? Yes. In what opera would you find the aria La yeah. donna mobile? Yeah. Il Travatore. El Travatore. Rigoletto. Don Giovanni. El Travatore. I'll agree. Giuseppe Verdi's Rigoletto. 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 She was uh, wrong. You agreed. The secret square was not one, so in our next game, we'll add the trip to the new prize, and you could win them both. Let's find out that we will pretty soon. Okay, Circle gets the square. Let's move on with this game. Peggy? I'll take Wally Cox. Wally, if we were pulling a bank robbery together, and I offered you the lion's share, what would that mean? You were scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't call me Killer Cox, the lion of the lineup, for nothing. <laughs> I'm jesting again. It's, uh, the, the lion's share, although it's popularly thought of as being most of it, means all of it. Every scrap. I'll agree. The whole thing, all of it. Put the circle right there. That's you, sir.
And you have to say it, even though that's the only one All right, right, I'll go to Walter Matthau. The best actor, at least one of the best actors in the business, Walter Matthau, yeah. who's starring in Dolly and uh, The Odd Couple. And, uh, and it's such a pleasure to have you on our show. <laughs> say, Walter. Guy to the Married Man. A Guy to the Married Man, co-starring with Bob <laughs> Morris. Yes. If you wanted to send your wife a telegram, how many words would you be permitted to send at the basic rate? If I wanted to send my wife a telegram, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Fifteen. I agree. You have three hundred dollars. Put an X right there. Very good, Walter. And very good, Bob. Thank you, Walter. All right, now, folks. Uh, this is what happened. You have three hundred dollars, and the player who wins the most cash during our show gets a special bonus prize. You'll see that later. Now, let's begin round two. And uh, what is the secret square worth this game, Kenny? New from American Motors, the 1968 Javelin SST Sports Hardtop. This new Javelin Sports Hardtop comes complete with radio bucket seats, automatic transmission, white walls, Javelin by American Motors, plus a trip to the Orient via TWA. Woo. We'll show the... Uh, oh, my, the secret square. We don't know in the studio. Our studio audience, nobody knows here. Good luck to both of you. That's all I can say. Miss Circle, you'll start this round. Take it. I'll start with Charlie Weaver. No, all right. Uh, when the Cartwright family leaves the Ponderosa, uh, Ponderosa to go into town, what town do they usually go into? Beverly Hills. <laughs> 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 no, they get on their horses and they ride into Virginia City. I'll go with Charlie. He's right. Put a circle there. Good start. Thanks, Charlie. Bob, you take a look and uh, we'll get to your question in just a second. But first, I have a message for the viewers. Say, we'll be back with more of Hollywood Squares and Charlie Weaver. Right after this. Javelin Sports Car, a trip to the Orient, and it is uh, Mr. X's turn. Well, it's, I hope it's Abby Dalton. Could be. You never know. Uh, one nope. part of your body is more sensitive to touch than any other. Which part is it? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> well, uh, contrary to what <laughs> most people think, <laughs> it is your earlobe. Or lobes. I'm going to disagree. It's the tip of the tongue. X gets the square. <laughs> Peggy? Okay, I'm I'm Ann, oh, You're the oh. young lady from Texas? Uh, My husband's in Texas. Oh, oh, I was just going to say, you got a nice piece of property there. Say, <laughs> so, uh, Maury, a favorite of music students everywhere is Debussy's uh, Claire de Lune. What does Claire de Lune mean in English? Debussy's uh, Claire de Lune. Well, uh, Lune is short for lunatic. <laughs> so they're nuts about something in this. I think Claire is crazy about Debussy. <laughs> That's the way I got it figured out. No, Luna has something to do with the moon. I think Claire is clear. Clear or bright moon? I'll disagree. Let's get a ruling. Uh, he is wrong? It is uh, moonlight. You disagree. Yeah. Put a circle right there. I had to get a ruling, Roy. I didn't know. Okay, yeah, Bob. Rosemary. Not the secret square, but no very bells. close to the point. No bells, bells no bells. Sherlock Holmes, his uh, arch enemy, was an evil scientist. Name his favorite villain. Uh, uh, Professor, uh, uh, Professor Moriarty. That's right. That sure is. Put an X there. Peggy Thurston. I'll go with Barbara Eden. Uh, Barbara Eden. Uh, I would have gone to Buddy maybe for the block, but let's find out. This may work out. She had a hunch you were the secret square. See, as a genie who jumps in and out of bottles answered this question, are some people double-jointed? I don't know what that got to do with the genie jumping in and out of bottles, but uh, that's what they've got here. <laughs> Are some people double-jointed? Yeah. Technically, physiologically. Really, truly. Uh, I, I, think, I think the term is used erroneously. I don't think they're physiologically double-jointed. No. I don't think so. I'll agree with her. It is possible to stretch the ligaments, but everybody's joints are the same. It is no end. Put a circle right there. Very good. Okay, Bob. <laughs> I know a guy was double-jointed. Anybody? Yeah, he had one joint in Vegas and one in Reno. <laughs> <laughs> so much booze? Oh, yeah. yeah. How are you doing at the Diplomat Hotel down there? I know you've got that hotel. In uh, well, uh, uh, I'm going to... We do a real good down there. We're full. But oh. if you want to know where I'm appearing tonight... Yes. At the home of Esther Cohen, I'll be appearing tonight for dinner right after... <laughs> All right. Very good, buddy. <laughs> Bob. My mother-in-law. Well, I think I'll go with Buddy Hackett. 
This is for the win? You can't go with for me, I'm married. This is for the win. <laughs> At Secret Square is either Wally, Robert, or Walter. This could end it all. Your neighbor in the London apartment house tells you that it's the custom every month to oil the knocker. What's that? <laughs> My neighbor in a London apartment house. Hoo-hoo, have you got the wrong party? <laughs> to oil the knocker. Well, let's see. Now, I know to, to, to be knocked up in London means to leave a call, to be awakened. So in an apartment house, who would be the way would be the, uh, the concierge, the, the superintendent or the janitor to tip the janitor, to tip the super, the, to tip the guys in charge of the building, I guess. To oil them, give them a little grease. That sounds right. You know it's something? Up. It is right. Oh. X gets the square. You still have six hundred dollars. <laughs> Dolly Ned, we played two secret square games, and they were never chosen. Who was our secret square? Uh, Wally was the secret square too. Our regular here on Hollywood Squares. Say, by the way, if the show should end in the middle of a game, we'll give our players fifty dollars for each square they have on the board, which is very important because it will count toward their cash total and the big bonus prize at the end of the show. Let us clear the board. Mr. Rex, I believe you'll start this round. Is that true? All right. I'll go with Walter Matthau. <laughs> 200 years ago, Walter, if I had insisted that you give me satisfaction, what would I have wanted? Kiss. Oh, boy. This is a dirty program. <laughs> and I'm very happy that I'm on it. And I can show off, and I know all the answers to everything, and I know... Will you repeat that question? <laughs> uh, if I had insisted a couple of hundred years ago that you give me satisfaction, what would I have wanted from you, sir? Uh... I think... that you probably would be challenging me to a duel. I think he's right. He sure is. Wow. Right. Da -da -da. Thank you. Just me. Say, Ro. Yes, Peter. According to Emily Post. Again. Is it proper to give a shower for someone who is getting married for the second time, yes or no? Oh, I think that's only fair. Especially if they're dirty. Not that kind of a shower. Oh. No, I, I think that's only fair because I, I, I think she would be starting housekeeping all over again and things. Yeah, I think that would be nice to give her a, for the second time, yeah. How do you feel about that? I'll disagree. It's perfectly proper, yes. And sure, why square. should the poor girl get left right. right? All right, Bob. Well, she has a lot of stuff left uh, over. <laughs> Maury Amsterdam. According to Vogue magazine, which sex is uh, bolder romantically, men or women? Hmm. Well, according to the women who watch the soap operas all day, I think it'd be women. I think I'll agree with him. He is right. X gets that Got particular it. score. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 baby. Charlie Weaver. Charlie Weaver the blocks. You have no cash. You yeah. get on board here. See, at the start of World War II, President Roosevelt pointed with his finger at a marshy spot of land just across the Potomac. Put it there, he said, and they did. What was it? His little dog, Fala. <laughs> I want to get him out of the house. Um, no, I remember that very historic moment. And they put it there, too. Boy, it was something. Oh, you want to know what it was? <laughs> the Pentagon. Oh, dear. He's right. Circle gets this <laughs> Bob. To Barbara Eden. Or $900. What hit motion picture stars Robert Blake and Scott Wilson? Oh, <laughs> that's uh, Truman Capote's uh, In Cold Blood. I hope she's right. I'm going to agree with her. She is right. And X gets the square. You, sir, have $900. <laughs> but I'll go. You said he hadn't seen it, but yeah, you better go see that. Okay, we'll start with Miss Circle. Is the board cleared up there? Uh, well, let's catch up time, Peggy. Let's uh, garner you some money. Here. I'll go with Charlie. He's oh. been good for me. As long as he's in Texas, I'll go with you, too. <laughs> one state is nicknamed the Heart of Dixie. Which one? The Heart of Dixie? Yeah, nicknamed the Heart of Dixie. Which state is it? Wait a minute now. I get it focused in there. The Confederate States. Uh, Alabama. I'll agree. He's right. Uh, Bob? 
Abby Dalton. American history is the category, Abby. Tell us in what American city the Battle of Bunker Hill took place. Oh, I know that because I was there this last summer. And I kept driving around on those turnpikes and I could never, I could see it, but I couldn't get to it. It's in Boston. I agree. The Revolutionary War, Boston, yes. Yeah, I'll go with Maury. Maury? Uh, Ingrid Bergman won an Oscar in 1944 for what picture? Uh, she co-starred with Gregory Peck. I think it was Spellbound. What? Spellbound. I'll agree. It was Gaslight. X gets to square. Wow. Bob? Uh, Walter Matthau. When making a bagel, is the dough molded around the hole or is the hole punched <laughs> after the bagel is formed? <laughs> You're asking the right guy. What's a bagel? <laughs> oh, hey, donut. Yeah, Go away. Did he ask what's a bagel? Yeah. I challenge his citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> is the dough molded around the hole or is the hole punched after the I bagel? I think the bowl is doled around the hole. <laughs> I think the bowl is holed around the bowl. I agree with him. I think it is. I don't know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I agree. <laughs> What did you say? Molded around the hole? I think it's yeah. molded around the bowl. He said molded around the hole and you agree. Right. He's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peggy. Wow. I'll go to Barbara Eden. Barbara Eden, two blocks, yes. <laughs> the movie Your Cheating Heart was based on the life of hillbilly singer, the great late Hank Williams. He was marvelous. What well-known actor played Hank Williams in Your Cheating Heart? Oh, that was, uh, what's her name's boyfriend? X. Oh. That's right. <laughs> um, George Hamilton. I'll agree. Oh, uh, she's right. Oh, yes. What's your name? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, who's boyfriend? I forget. Uh, uh, it was in the paper. I read it. Linda Bird. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll get back uh, with our game and more of Hollywood Squares in just a moment. Don't go away. Peggy, sure. Bob, time is up for this Friday Eve. Peggy. You didn't win any of the secret squares. I know. But you have two squares in the final game, so that gives you a cash total of $100. Thank you so much. Well, I really I, had fun. Well, I, we certainly enjoyed you on the show here. This Thank gentleman you. did quite well. Yes, Say, Bob, you won those secret squares. You had a couple of shots at it. Three games, three squares in the final game for a cash total of $1,050. You are the big winner, and here's your bonus prize. It's exciting. Kenny? And from RCA, the Gloucester Home Entertainment Center, inspired by colonial pieces of the federal uh -huh. period, with 23-inch color tube, FM, AM stereo radio, uh -huh. studiomatic four-speed changer, and dynamic six-speaker sound. Say, uh, <laughs> friends, don't miss Hollywood Squares next Friday night and daytime at 11.30 Eastern Time, 10.30 Central Time. Stars, thank you again for making oh, it a fun pleasure. evening here. Don't Peter Marshall saying have a good week. Bye-bye, thank you. Good night. <laughs> of the show, each contestant will receive a home version of the Hollywood Squares game. Our reference source for questions and answers is the 20-volume 1968 edition of the World Book Encyclopedia, containing more than 12,000 pages and representing the work of 2,500 consultants and contributors. Lingo presents the ABCs. A, B, C, D. J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-U-B-W-X-Y-N-Z Now that you know your ABCs, won't you come and watch Lingo with me? Lingo, tonight at 9 Eastern and Pacific on Game Show Network. This program was pre-recorded.